welcome back after that short break. Uh, we're going to pick up where I left off. Uh, back with the Evo 4G, the Android 2.2 environment using Launcher Pro, uh, desktop visualizer, and other widgets um, to create your personalized Android environment for your device. This tutorial we're going to go over kind of like the last tutorial with the NCAA theme that was provided by Fluxbox Media. Uh, thanks to them uh, over there at Fluxbox Media Design and Graphics. Uh, check them out. Comments down below. Fluxboxmedia.extremehost.com. They feature 33 of the NCAA teams. Uh, they have customization available. Look them up. Send them an email if you like something. Anywho, let's move on. Uh, in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to customize this with a, another theme that was created with Desktop Visualizer, mainly designed around Flexbox Media's new uh, avenue called Flu uh, Insight. Um, they have also gave us uh, a demo version of Insight that we can use based on what they call Insight Minimal. Uh, I am going to show you how it all comes together. So, for this purpose, we have the lock screen, so we're going to go ahead and unlock. And I've reset the screen back to what I call the Froyo Design for Launcher Pro primary screen. I have another indicator screen over here just to know that that's the middle screen that I'm in to give you guys an idea. All right. So first things first, what we want to do is we want to customize this dock down here uh, and give it a feel for our, um, the capabilities of what it really looks like. Um, first off, though, I want to get a wallpaper in here. So we click the menu. Um, let me get back out of that real quick. We click menu, click, nope, wrong one, I'm sorry. Menu, wallpaper. We're going to go into the gallery. Um, I have some custom wallpapers in here, so I am going to choose from that. Um, I'm going to use for this demo, um, I've got a couple good ones that look nice. Um, I really like this one, so I'm going to use this. We're going to resize it out. Click save. We'll let that apply it to the desktop and then you can see it there. Uh, all in its crystal clear capabilities and beautifulness. Um, this is a black and white based wallpaper. Uh, works good with black text, white text. Uh, kind of depends on what your uh, dock bar is going to be or what your icons are going to be. And in this case, uh, we're going to do no background down here and the uh, icons are going to be of a white text. So they're going to show real nicely. Uh, and very cleanly. Um, I'm also going to get rid of this app drawer icon. Uh, I have a custom one that they gave me through uh, Fluxbox's Insight Design. So we're going to go ahead and go into the menu. We're going to click on Preferences. We're going to go into Appearance Settings just like before. Go up to Dock Background. We're going to click None in this case because we don't need one at this point in time. Um, and that's going to allow us to um, I have nothing down here and uh, it, things are still here you can see where I'm clicking and they make the noise but there's nothing associated with them so we're gonna change this one real quick change this icon custom icon um, I have their insight theme available uh, with their custom dock icon so they're gonna give me that and then you see there's the insight app drawer icon and you press it and up comes the apps just like you see here press home takes us back so that's what I wanted down there first okay so that is the basis of insights minimal design the real call to this actually came from these icons down here on the dat on the dock uh, I'm gonna change these with icons and um, actual functionalities um, in this case, what happens is if you hold down here, it's going to ask you to change the shortcut. So we're going to change the shortcut. We're going to go up here. We're going to choose Applications. Uh, I want the phone over there, just because I like the phone on that side. Click Phone. Uh, it asks Default, Launcher, or Custom. We're going to choose Custom. Um, I have saved their stuff inside Insight Icons, as you see in there. And you'll see Phone, Text, Mail, and Web. We're going to choose Phone. And then you'll see phone shows up there in the lower left hand corner. Just like that. And it's real crystal crystal clear and looks really good. It has really good resolution. Um, you can do that all the way across the bottom. One, two, three, three more times. So you have two here, two here, that's four. The middle one is five. 
for a total of five. Now mind you, you can do that all the way across with your customization as you can see here. Um, I've got just these here. If I scroll one more, that's five more. Uh, again, and there's five more. And that's the finished product. If you take a look, I've left the um, state app drawer from the previous theme tutorial on there. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Now, this is the basis of the Insight Minimal, uh, and their idea was to create just simple words down at the bottom, uh, a, da a dock bar background or no background, uh, and just some text to keep it really clean, really clean, or really clean, really clear, and really simple. Uh, I'm going to add a widget at the top. Uh, one of them that I'm going to put at the top is going to be Batstat 4.1. Uh, we don't need a background in this case and there it is up there at the top and then I'm going to add another widget and like I said these are all available on the market in the first tutorial so make sure you go ahead and get it uh, and in this case I want to add TAJM which you'll see right here so I'm going to click TJ, TAJM I'm going to leave the text white that color is going to be black that's fine I want it to show the date click back out and then you see it It shows up in the top of the screen up here but I'm gonna drag it down to the middle and I'm gonna hold it like this so I can resize it and then I'm gonna move it over I'm gonna hold it again and resize it and then back it out and there you have it Bat stat at the top, TAJM in the middle, Insights minimal dock icons at the bottom, and once again that's their launcher. And this is the one from the previous theme with the app drawer that was from the previous tutorial. No big deal. Okay, uh, one of the other ones that I like, widgets that I'm going to show you in this tutorial is called Switch Pro. Uh, it's an absolute necessity in my book for anything that has the uh, demand that this phone actually does. And, uh, we're going to go switch pro size 4 and we're just going to hit OK and then you see everything show up and if you use no background or no background image that's how you'll get it as long as you change the colors and the indicators and the settings and that is Insight Minimal according to Fluxbox's instructions and that was how to assign it uh, and apply it all right, we're going to take another quick break, and then come back, and I'm going to show you new one, 757's uh, HDPI customization for these device for these devices in Android 2.2. Thanks. Be right back.